10, 10. It's not easy for people who've never looked at sculpture to come to my work. As a matter of fact, I know a lot of sculptors who took a long time. It's not like I work something out and then make it. The idea and the making are completely together, they're all one. One informs the other, the other informs the one. If you were to sit down with a musical instrument, let's say a piano for argument's sake, and just start tinkering, just, just playing a little bit, and, uh, oh, this little bit sounds all right. That sounds all right, but it doesn't go with that. I'll leave that out. Maybe that becomes the start of another piece later. And sort of building it up like that. So in a sense, it's imp improvisation, which, which goes back to what I said originally about it not being based on one idea. It grows that way, and the idea grows with it. I really like to live with things. I'll get to a certain point, let's say, in making a piece, and I think, oh, this is almost finished, then I'll look at it again, and something's not quite right, something's not working. I'll cut off that bit, stick it in the corner, or stick it somewhere, go on with the original, come back to that later, that becomes the genesis of another piece. If an artist knows everything about his piece, it's not a very good piece. It's completely contained, it's dead. You don't know everything about it. You know a lot about it. You don't know everything. People can point things out to you that you never realized about your own work. It's the only thing that's mattered to me is doing the work. That's where I get my kicks, that's where I get my enjoyment. The rest of it, the rest of it is not really an issue. No, I'm happy in here. Actually, I'm happiest in here. I mean, it's not that I never go out, or it's not that I don't do other things, which I do. I think I have a tendency to be a hermit, except for the fact that when I go out, I really enjoy it. <laughs> I'm just taking it apart so I can, uh, so that I can wrap whatever needs wrapping, and, and so it's ready to go on the truck. Okay, we're on our way. We're headed for the for the park, for the gate. I'm just very glad, A, that it's not raining, and B, that it's not too hot. G'day, Robert, how are you? Good. I'm, I'm going in. Yeah, yeah you gotta go. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, pull all those off. Pull this one off. Yeah, that just goes about there, Pacheco, next to that. The only bit that's a bit heavy, Pacheco, yeah. is this one. Okay. It's not heavy. No, no, it's easy for two guys, but I'll get this off first. And you do that, I'll just get a knife and cut that. What we have to do, Pacheco, yeah. is we have to get these two bits together which is not hard, I just need my toolbox, and everything has to start from there, and then we have to start adjusting the levels. Okay, let me get some tools. Now, that'll be okay. You know, you look at this ground and it looks pretty level, but when you actually look at it, they're all, it, it's not level, you know? So I have to be able to compensate for that.
Okay, now Pachuco, this has got to come back here. Just wait. Yeah, careful. Now, we've got to be careful that if there's too much pressure, we've got to back off and I might have to lower that. You know what I mean? Let's put it up high first. Let's see where we stand. Oh, we'll be okay. See the Oz. No, I need a piece of wire or something to locate the hole. Let go. Let me see. No, it's still got to go a bit more. The screws go in. Oh yeah, that's much better. Patrico, can you get me a 10 millimeter spanner? I thought this was an eight, but it's a 10. The smallest one, thanks. Okay, that's that. I think we're in business now. I think just those and just a little bit here and I'm done. It's only taken, you know, a little bit over four hours, four and a half hours, the, the whole process. Still got another two minutes to do over there. A bit of patching, but um, no, no, otherwise it's been very easy. Very easy install. Well, I had good help, you know. That always helps. And, uh, and that's it. I, I, I must say I'm, I'm, I was prepared. I, that, that's why I wanted to get here at nine because I, I thought if worse comes to worse and things start going wrong, I'll, I'll be here till six or seven o'clock. But because things went relatively, very, well, actually relatively very smoothly, I'm done. Boom, boom. very funny like I know that the studio is okay but I get neurotic and have to check it anyway before I leave you know what I mean it's all a bit uh, I don't know what that is something in my head no everything in here is okay I don't I don't even know why I bother why I bother coming in here and checking but I just do you know okay here we go goodbye studio Okay, you got your stuff? Well, we've got plenty of time. We're, we're in good time. In a couple of hours, we'll be, uh, we'll be on a plane bound for that Picasso show in, at MoMA, which is, I'm, I'm really, actually, I'm very excited about that because I don't think there's ever been one this big. There, I I read that there was a, a sculpt, Picasso sculpture show in 1967. Well, that's a long time between they drinks. Couldn't, they couldn't get all the pieces they've got this time. Oh, well, there you are, like, yeah. So it's a once-in-a-lifetime thing. So uh, we're really lucky. And we just heard about it. I just happened to hear about it on the news, I think, on, you know, on, on, or something like that. And uh, we just decided to go. Again, the scholarship helps with everything. I've always, I've always, always loved, well, I love all kinds of things, but I've always loved Renaissance reliefs. I've always loved them. And uh, this, is, this is the big chance to look at them without being rushed. It's not, I'm not interested in, in a study as such. I'm just interested in just sitting and looking and standing and looking and absorbing it, you know? So uh, that's going to be really pleasurable, I think. And, and really stimulating, actually. It's uh... Aris is quite happy staring at a piece of sculpture for three hours if he loves it. OK, there you are, darling. This is it. Goodbye, Sydney, for a little while.
Oh yeah, well, I'm back. Uh, you know, after, after going to seeing that terrific Picasso show in New York. And I'm happy, I mean, I, I loved seeing it. I'm really happy to be back in the studio. It, uh, I must say that kind of thing gives me a really big lift because like I say, you connect with, you connect with the outside world, you connect with things. And it's, you sort of become, you, you come back refreshed, you know, because I, I tend to spend all my time in here uh, so that the focus is always sort of internal in that sense and to get out occasionally and see something that you find stimulating, that something that you find really interesting, you know, helps you, helps you in a lot of ways and it, it helps you a lot in the way you look at your work because it's relating it to things on the outside, it's relating it to things in history which I think is a very important thing and uh, but like I say, I'm happy to be back. That's what I'm doing now. So I'll just get on with doing, doing what I'm doing.